Now, when it comes to approach, if there was a circle chart of 100%, mm -hmm. what percentage are you shooting your shot versus someone shooting their shot at you, so to speak? I would honestly say like 50-50. I, I feel like girls are like kind of like scared to shoot their shot and they think like, oh, like I need to be, you know, chased. I need to be the one sought after. And that's like, yeah, like 1000%. But it's like, you know, if you know what you like, I feel like that person will like you, you know, trying to get their attention. Now, do you prefer being approached online or offline? Probably offline because, you know, some people might just have assumptions about you if they see you, you know, on a screen. Now, when it comes to offline, is there a proper or improper physical location to shoot their shot at you? Um, I would probably say improper. I feel like if, like, don't run up on nobody. If you're, if you're with family, you know, be respectful. Yeah, no, if I'm with my mom, I'm, I'm a W because like, bro, no. <laughs> But what about the actual location, uh, gas station? Oh, um, I mean, that's kind of scary. So don't, please don't do that at no gas station. Yeah, no. It has to be in like daylight and, um, you know, somewhere where like people are around. So I don't feel, you know, scared. Post office. Fuck it. Grocery store. You know what? That would be nice. That would be nice. If I see a a man grocery shopping, I'll be like, wow, okay. <laughs> That's probably a really low bar, but. The gym. I would love that. At work. Um, I mean, I work for myself. So, I mean, if they're working for themselves too, hell yeah. And just giving you a few uh, locations there to think about. But uh, didn't know if there was, uh, aside from the gas station, any other improper locations you do not want to be shot at whatsoever, um, whether you're with family or without family. You just, just off limits to you. Um, I would probably say locations. Yes. Mm, like, just nowhere sketchy, for real. Like, can't be no sketchy. Like, I can't feel like you're, I can't say no, you know? Girls don't like that. Now, what's the best way to approach you? What are the rules, the etiquette, the guidelines, the do's or don'ts before someone approaches you to date? Um, hmm. I'd probably say, like, you, you, you got to have a little bit of, like, swag. You got you to gotta be cool with it. I feel like I hate people that are corny and try to be something that they're not. It's just, it's just a no-go. So, like, if you're yourself and, you know, um, I'm liking what I see and, you know, I, I, li I like people that are also, like, um, I like gentle ladies. I like gentlemen. I love people that are very much, you know, soft and sweet and don't come off too harsh. Anything else in regards to approach? Um, be sweet. Just be sweet. Now, also when it comes to approach, what is your opinion on fragrances, scents, cologne, so on and so forth? I love, I love when someone is smelling good. Me personally, I use perfumes and colognes just because I feel like colognes be lasting a longer time, but I also like, like the fragrance of like, you know, like, musky or like not musty but like you know something you know um manly i guess or like more like i don't know yeah but not like old spice or any like you know like weird shit like that just like some like real nice fragrances now there are some males in the audience wondering what's the best scent to approach a female with now of course circumstances could be different for everybody but can you help any of those out I feel like Baccarat is just like a safe go-to for real. And what about the amount of sprays or where to spray them? Hmm, that's a great question. Um, I feel like I feel like I definitely overspray. I love I love smelling good, but you know, cologne on some people it might be a little bit too much. So you know, 
spray, apply, apply when needed, you know?